Hello everyone, things are getting super crazy in Lost Judgment. The RK and Kuwana were hanging out around the outside of Sawa's apartment. We chased down Kuwana, but the RK, they knocked Yagami out. And that's pretty much where we ended the last episode. And now it's time to see what happens next. Hope you guys enjoy. Toss his phone before we go any further. This GPS will lead his friends straight to us. It plays so dirty. Hey, 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 hey. Yagami, Yagami. Yagami. Rise and shine. shine. There he is. I was starting to worry you might not wake up. My men are glorified amateurs at this stuff. The technique for knocking someone out takes practice to get down. Soma. Oh good, no brain damage. Man, I'm glad you're tough as nails. Now we can get to the fun part, huh? Yagami-san here just saved your asses. You wouldn't be standing if he didn't come around. There's no way we could have known this asshole would show up. Not my fault everything went to shit. This was your operation anyway. Fine, it's okay. But you need to make sure you keep your boys in check from here on. Huh? Uh. Did that hurt? It hurt, right? Please don't. You all see? First comes pain, and then the fear. You have to start with pain. Fear won't work if you haven't given them reason. Slap them around, but you do need to keep them conscious. Enough to keep the fear alive. That's how you get what you want to hear. Am I right? I can tell when someone's lying. My superiors found that useful. Probably why they kept me around. Now, no playing dumb and none of your tricks. Don't underestimate me. Yagami-san. Okay. They won't. We got 9,000 SP. So, what's the deal between you and that lady teacher? <laughs> We're colleagues, as of a few days ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Stay out of this, Akutsu. Huh? I'm telling you to shut up and leave this to me. I'm focusing. Besides, Yagami-san here is telling us the truth. <sighs> He's just being a little vague, is all. So what do you mean, Sawa-sensei is your colleague? Forget Akutsu. The Soma guy is perceptive as hell. I was asked to look into a bullying case at Serio High. That's all I meant by it. How about that? What'd you do to her? Oh, she's sound asleep now, I'm sure. Our business isn't with her, anyway. You wanna? wanna? Right. About that. You keep calling him Kuwana. That's not who we know him as. Huh? Kuwana is his alias. A fake name? That's right. So tell me. What is he? What do you know him for? Handyman? <laughs> hey, stop <laughs> it! You get two seconds to answer. What does this Kuwana guy do? He's a handyman. In Ijincho. Everybody knows him. He's been taking jobs in the area for a long time now. A handyman, huh? Well, from the way it sounds, you haven't known each other very long. <sighs> yeah. His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? Well, there you have it. Your face says you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> so then, any idea where your Kuwana-san went? We have some business with him. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. Of course you wouldn't. 
And I suppose that's not a lie. But it's probably more accurate to say you don't know where he is, either. Turns out you don't have a damn thing on him. <sighs> Shit. Know what that means? I'm not useful. Means you have no more use for me. Shame to be smart and still lose, huh? Where's Kaito? Kaito, save me! Now I got a question for you. Did you really think you'd walk out of here alive? Or is it gonna be in a body bag? <sighs> the fear in your eyes tells me everything I need to know. And you're probably right. <laughs> you aren't gonna enjoy what little time you have left. It's gonna be painful as hell. Because I'll be the one enjoying it. What brings you to a Jin show and after a teacher? And why Kawana too? How do you even know him? I could tell you this little part and give a good night. Except I ain't feeling so generous. Stop! You didn't think we were done yet, did you? <laughs> hey, fire that thing up. Thing? Get him on his feet. And I don't want to see him squirming. A chainsaw? Okay, Kaito, now's the time where you gotta day, show get up. A chance like this. Record this shit. Yo. How quickly can a chainsaw kill a guy? Should be the video title when we upload it. No! This kind of shit gets so many views. Am I right, Yagami? We'll go in slow and get your fingers all cut to shreds. <laughs> we'll take that up to the right wrist, then we'll switch over to the left side. Right forearm, left forearm. This guy is fucked up! Why don't we make this formal? Take first dips. You show us how it's done. You, you want me to do it? Time to man up. We gotta show the world what happens when you fuck with RK. Killing shits like him is what puts hair on your chest, guys. Just try not to kill him until everyone gets a turn. Get to work! But, but sir... Figure it out. Akutsu. He won't do it himself, you know. <laughs> Recording it puts the evidence of a murder out there on video. And he won't be on it. But you guys will be. Who do you think they'll come for, moron? You still talking? Fill <laughs> your intestines on the fucking floor! <laughs> Sugiura. <laughs> Yo, you got company. Uh, Kaito, how the hell? How'd you fucking find us here? Cause he's a motherfucking detective. Sugiura. Suppose I ought to thank you boys for keeping talk nice and comfortable, Akutsu. Yeah, but we were just getting to the grand finale. You two can have front row seats. I'll pass. This show kind of sucks. Block all the doors! These three are fucking dead. You hear me, boys? I don't want anyone leaving the building! Good call. I don't want anyone leaving either. Not until I'm done with you. <laughs> can you even fight? <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Yeah, I guess so. Man, the stamina on this Don't boy. Be a tough guy, talk. Feel free to take a breather if you need to. I don't know about that, Kaito-san. He's got that look. That's the face he makes when he's got a score to settle and some ass to kick. You still haven't gotten your fill of this, Yagami? <laughs> I'll admit, this is kind of fun, man. Maybe killing you would be a mistake. I've got an even better idea. I'll tie you up and keep you as a pet. You know what? I think I could punch you as many times as I want right now. In circumstances such as they are, no one could even blame me. True! Uh, I'm saying I've earned a little payback, Akatsu. Let's go! Ikazo! Oh shit, my health is not great. I don't have a smartphone right now. I don't have a. F I what do you mean? Okay. We're gonna be all right. There's heals all over the place. Okay, good. a little bit.
god! Oh, the humanity! What the hell does RK want with Kuma? What did he do? Tell me how Sawa Sensei and Kuana are connected. You ask too many questions, you fucking asshole. Tell me, why go to all the effort in Kamurojo to find Shinya Kawai? What are you trying to do? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll get you! Man, that guy's invincible. And he's faster than he looks. Asshole. He knew it was a lost cause, so he took off at the first opportunity. I'm guessing that's why he was holding back. Are you serious? He couldn't be that sharp. Nah. He's definitely got some skills. And we better start taking him seriously. Yeah, he's no joke. I had no idea you went through so much. I'm just glad you had the mind to tip off Kaito-san that I wasn't picking up your calls. That got Tsukumo to track my phone over GPS and locate me using the town security cameras. Long story short, you saved me. Ah. Oh, she I'm changed the one back. Into this after all. But you know, the first person to suspect something was Higashi san. He thought it was strange for you to be suddenly unavailable. Higashi! <laughs> better thank him, too. Mm hmm. You better. By the way, I'd like to share the details I recently gathered on Shinya Kawai. Kawai was a bully at Kurokawa Academy. Five years ago, he was abducted by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. A worker at a girls' bar witnessed this. And based on that, RK apparently deduced that Kawhi was murdered. Got it. Then I suggest you steer clear of RK as much as possible. They fly off the handle faster than the Yakuza. Right. I never imagined things would get this dangerous. We just got back to Sawa Sensei's apartment. I thought RK was in Kamrojo looking for Kawhi. But they came to ambush a handyman named Kawana. Did you say handyman? Yeah, but he plays a wider field than your average Mr. Fix-It. He's popular on the Jincho Underground. Even Kuwana was a fake name. And this mystery man has some connection to Sawa-sensei? Yeah, and I'm about to ask her about him directly. I need to get everything I can out of her this time. Understood. We're still dealing with a lot of unknowns. So take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, we are. I'll be alright. I'm with two guys I can trust now. Yeah, we are. Yo, what's Sawa Sensei's room number? Just hold your horses. I'm coming with you.
We gotta stop here. Okay, here we go. Okizaki-san. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, so glad you're here. Did you come to try out the game? Yep. Yeah, if it'll be helpful. Do you plan on making any changes based on the feedback? Uh, well, technically, the QA phase is over, but we've got a bit of an issue. Huh? Oh, what's wrong? <sighs> you see, only a few hours before release, Shinonome-san and Kunigawa-san started arguing again. Oh yeah, I saw that. Is it getting bad? Well, uh... Ooh. Hey, if it ain't Yagami-san, come... You come to help us with our little problem here? Uh, sure. I'm telling you, Kinagawa-san, I'm not budging on this. <sighs> Shinonome, you're stuck in the past, pal. Gamers nowadays ain't looking to get tortured the whole time. Uh, I don't know. Some gamers seem to really, really like torture. What? I thought the games where you die all the time sell like crazy now. Yeah, Dark Souls, hello. Hmm, those are different demographics. Not sure you you get the market we're after. In that case, Kinagawa-san, I'm not sure you get game design. Ah! Uh, excuse me. Uh-oh, this is getting ugly. Hey, come on, you two. Yagami-san's here. Let's not forget about the test. Right, right. The test. Good. Okay, Yagami-san, let's be off. Right. This must be where they're going to let people play the game. Yagami-san, all we'd like you to do is just play a bit of the finished product. Nothing special about it, we just want to see how you fared going in cold. We've all spent too much time in this thing ourselves. Got it. Joe! You play games at all, Yagami-san? Any good at them? Oh, I hit the arcades every now and then, when I'm in the mood for it. So you're a real deal gamer then, huh? Well, I wouldn't say that. Good, perfect. Huh. Uh-huh. All right, Yagami-san, go ahead and start. The game will walk you through the basic controls, so you'll be all set there. And don't worry about game overs or anything. Just relax and have fun. Yep. Can do. Okay. Ooh. Victory condition. Destroy two waves of enemies. A. Oh, drone status. Ooh. Whoa, look at what is all this? Enhance the beam shot's potency. Enhance the beam shot's firing speed. Play a new mission. Enhances the potency for a short period. Okay, well, let's get a rapid shot thing. Sure, why not? Okay. All right. Ooh, mission, 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 mission. Lots of missions. Oh, we have a whole new freaking very big, very in depth mini game, it looks like. A uh, rapid three way shot chip, repair chip, energy wave, beam shot. Why are there so many things?
Um. Oh, okay. So those would be like special pickups or something, which I don't have. Can't stop now. Damn it! Oh god. Oh, this is kind of fun. Have I ever I played a game this like this? Look at Yagami's face. He's so into it. But you can't see him now. What's that? Uh, oh, that's bad. <laughs> Phew, that was fun. <laughs> Hey, it looks like you enjoyed it. Yep. Yeah, I definitely play that again. See, Kinugawa-san, even Yagami-san enjoyed it, and he said himself he's not a gamer. That means no spec changes. Ha! I win. Yeah. Nope. <gasps> Sorry. What? But that's not what you promised. You said if Yagami-san gave it the green light, you'd release the game. Mm. Sorry, my producer instincts are just telling me this game won't be a hit as is. It's still too hard. Gotta simplify the controls more. No, no, no! That's not true. The controls were one of the highest rated aspects of the game among the testers. Joe! Nah, still ain't good enough. We gotta push the envelope. We gotta break barriers. We gotta make it so even entry level players can clear a stage with just a button press. That's the kind of thing I want to see. What? Just one button press? You want a clear stage button? How is that even, how is it even a game at that point? We're supposed to provide challenges so users can feel rewarded for their efforts. Who would feel rewarded by a single button press? <sighs> Shinonome, I gotta see it. Sad seeing you talk. Like just another fossil in this industry instead of really putting your mind to the problem. What? How dare you? I am a visionary. Excuse me. Um, just to interject, I did enjoy the game. If it's fine as is, maybe we can all just move on? Mm. Nah, that ain't happening. If you were a gamer, you'd know how important this shit is. <laughs> This guy is, this guy is so awful. Poor Shinonome. No wonder he left the project before. Jeez. Do you consider yourself a gamer? Well, no, not really. Oh, perfect. Then you're the perfect person to test this product. So as a non-gamer, you liked the game? Well, I don't care. <laughs> Your input means absolutely nothing. Uh, I guess so. Wait, this is about that woman, isn't it? <clears throat> huh? That hostess, the one you brought to test the game the other night. Yeah, that woman you've been so into lately. Everything was going smooth as silk until you brought her here. When she was all... I can't do anything and uh, it's too hard. You changed your tune. Shinonome, you prick! She said the game was hard and it put her in a bad mood and now you just want to win her favor back. You're gonna be all, hey, Hikari-chan. I put all your effing suggestions in the gosh darn game because I ever love you. <clears throat> what? And you call yourself a creative. If you want to use the game to get laid, go make your own. Ah? Shinonome, you motherfucker. I'm gonna kill you, asshole. <clears throat> God, I knew it. Okay, let's calm down. Ah! Shut the fuck up, Yagami. I'll kill your ass too. I don't give a shit. This guy, his temper is so wild. What is it with you and kill this, kill that? 
Now I'm even starting to wonder if you're really Yakuza. The fuck do you mean, Yakuza? I've been a civvy since I crawled out of the womb. Crap, I guess he just needs to get his headset straight. One way or another. Fine, let's take this outside. Guys, I just want to play the game again. I didn't understand that that was a projectile and not a pickup. You're gonna get it now, Yagami! Sure. Whatever you say. Oh. All right, well. He just had to go and grab me, huh? Okay, so we got some, like... We upgraded our tiger stance. But... Heck if I remember what we upgraded, so let me, uh, let me just get a refresher here. Boost your attack power after landing a finishing blow. Okay, so we want to use those triangles. Hold triangle. Hold square after triangle. Okay. Dodge and... Dodge with X and then hold triangle. Triangle while on the ground. Triangle while being knocked down. Activates while holding left trigger. Uh-huh. Or left L1. L1 after guard is broken. L1 and X for evasive roll. We have a perfect guard. We have a double quick step. Uh, we have a counter attack. We have some EX moves. So lots of holding triangle. Oh, it did nothing. Oh crap, I'm gonna kill him with this EX move. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that was smooth. No way. Didn't we already have a talk about what constitutes abuse of power? What's it gonna take, man? I'm really sorry. Guess the blood just went to my head. Yeah, which head? Jeez. All for a stupid girl. <sighs> so, can we release the game? No more spec changes? Yeah, but Shinonome, just one thing first. This wasn't about me wanting to jump Hikari-chan's bones. We creators got to keep an ear to the ground to learn what the audience wants. That means we got to keep open minds on what we put in our games, too. And if things ain't going your way, sometimes you got to flip a table or two to make your point. I can't tell you the number of the times I've seen a table flip lead to a real masterpiece in the end. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, if it wasn't, it wasn't for Hikari-chan, you're honest. I understand. We'll just say it wasn't. <laughs> At least the game is finally done. Really, that's all thanks to you, Yagami-san. And feel free to stop by and play whenever you like. The game will be right there yep. waiting. Thanks. Will do. Ooh. Yeah, I want to try at least one more time real quick. Good day, game. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's try again. What are you playing, by the way, Billiam? Up 
Damn it! Ah. Uh. Now. Well, I think somebody did mention it's kind of like Nier Automata's hacking. The music is nice. Hold on, let me listen to this music. This. Boom. Oh god, they're they're coming at me so fast. I just want to pass now. this level. There we go. <laughs> Nothing I can't hit. It's tough. Um, I, I'm sure it gets easier when you can upgrade your um, your let's see durability. All right, let's do some main story real quick. Remember that about m using it to get money if I need it. I will remember that. Sure is quiet. This is where the fight went down. Yeah, but to look at it, you wouldn't think anything had happened here. <laughs> Just fixing his <clears throat> hair. Sawa Sensei, you there? Jogami. What's up? The door. It's unlocked. Huh? Sawa Sensei? Oh. No, we talk. What? 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 <laughs> no. Oh my god. What? I wasn't expecting that. I guess that chapter title made se sure made sense. Blindsided, yes, because like we know in these games, they're not afraid to kill characters off, but I feel like a, a lot, I don't know, not a lot of times, but sometimes you can sense it coming, but this, no. I had, I did not, I thought she was, she, what? No. And Yagami was right there. Oh, we definitely had a lot more to learn from her. Somebody does not want her to. <sighs> okay, look, she was warned. She was warned. Somebody knows that she has information that would harm them if it got out so they warned her to, to just stay out of it and she was going to and then yagami pulled her back in like he 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 pulled her back into it and got her to co you know kind of cooperate with him and stuff and he was right there 
and he left to chase after what's his name he's probably feeling very guilty right now extremely guilty and upset let's just let that settle let's take our first break because it's been an hour okay let's save and let's continue let me know if there's any audio issues that you guys notice and hi fiery nox the school teacher yokosawa is murdered in cold blood and yagami is torn with grief her death is merely collateral damage to soma of rk soma's real prey is kawana who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kiwana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets. And to unearth them, Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Chapter 8, Phantom of Ijinjo. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho. Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Yes, see you soon. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master. He lied when he said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, Talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now, can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? I think he's right. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kowanda the Handyman. Where that leads, is that Soma's gang was after Kawana, and that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kawana. Yeah. Except Kawana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was Kita Kanta. Soma gave us that. I don't have much time until the police arrive. I have to be as thorough as I can right now. Suspicious. There's one visible wound here. What do you think, Kaito-san? Sure is tiny. Think she was stabbed with some kind of long needle? An ice pick, most likely. Soma was holding one up to her. An ice pick to the nape of the neck would be fatal. Is that how she died? If so, I only hope that she didn't suffer long. Me too. <clears throat> she has tears around her eyes. Damn it. She must have been terrified. Uh-huh. Blood. Not a lot, though. 
Yeah, looks like it. A trail of blood, probably hers. How far does it go? Sawa Sensei's blood managed to reach this far? Hmm? Rukawa Academy Yearbook? Suspicious. Yagami-san, isn't that yearbook from when Sawa Sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Weird that there's so much blood around it. Maybe she was trying to leave us a clue. What do you want to do? That's a, a morbid thought. Kind of frowned on to mess with a murder scene, yeah? If you're gonna look, make it quick. The cops will be here any minute. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. Now think, what do I do with this yearbook? Don't touch it. Take it with you. Look at it until the cops arrive. If we steal from the... If we remove anything from the crime scene, then I'm sure that's a crime in itself. So let's do it. I'm gonna We're hang on to it for now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You're gonna take it? Really? Is that even legal? Of course not. Kaito said. But fuck legal this time. We got a detective. Those shady Kurokawa Academy I'm graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Hmm, good point. It's better off with us then. Feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. Uh... It's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. Uh, I have to play the thief? Play? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Why you gotta bring that up? Fine, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Good sport, Sugiyura. You got this. I don't have much time until the police arrive. Okay, is there anything else? Wait, how were they able to get in? I told her not to open the door until the police came. I'm sure that's exactly what she did. What the? Someone cut the door chain? Looks like they used a bolt cutter. They came ready. They had tools and forced their way in. Didn't even care who saw them. I can't imagine how scared Sawa Sensei must have been. Watching helplessly as they pried her door open. Stop painting such a... Sad picture. I see. So, Hachad, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa Sensei was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah? Well, great. Case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. And does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? The cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Soma from RK tried to get rid of me, too. These guys won't hesitate to kill someone just to shut them up. But why would they go this far? What do they want with Kuwana? Nabe-san, the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. We need at least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, man. I'll pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. 
Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. That's what we were trying to figure ah, out. So you know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. And just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul-mouthed as fuck. But not bad, Pops. Pops. <sighs> what now? Nabe-san. Aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, that. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikushiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa-sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa-sensei and Mikushiba's murder. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not I us, do. not HQ, Yagami does. not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell, and they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. We'll bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Or else what? Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. Hell do you? Cool it, Sakurai. It's up to us, Yagami. It's all up to us. I, I know this is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Are they? Sawa Sensei. Well, she got mixed up in some sort of incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you, but. Please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to... Well... None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. All that I can ask, for now... Spare a prayer for Sawa Sensei, please, if you can. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Okay, we better get everyone back to class, starting with the third years. Man. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. I should hover head over to the chairman's office, but it's gonna be hard to talk about anything. Um, this is really tough because, like, it just feels like we... If we made different decisions, it wouldn't have happened. Like, I know, you you know, you can't place guilt on yourself for these kind of things. But... Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose. But I know who it is. 
Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. No. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna Way get you dangerous. involved. But... Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Nagami-san... <sighs> okay. Listen. You're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes. You're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes. I can do that. Ah. Uh, it's just so frustrating because we were right there at her apartment. If we just let Kuana go, then she would have been fine if we stayed there with her. Probably. Hi, Joe. How you doing? Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Guy here. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat, if you would. In that detective's report, Saba-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yakimi-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses. And he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK. And it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. Poor I'm guy. sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shibukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface, all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would. Could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to. The poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. 
So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But no matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. I feel like we might not have to worry about them anymore. <sighs> I don't know, but I would have to definitely agree, Soul Blazer. Phenomenal voice acting. That, that really got to me. Your continued support is appreciated, Yagami-san. If there's anything at all I can do, please don't hesitate to ask. We must seek justice for Sawa-sensei. Yes. Okay. I should head... I should go check out class 2-2 before I leave campus. Yagami-san, what do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Mikoshiba-sensei's body. Now Sawa-sensei winds up getting murdered. You the angel of death or something? Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Same. so damn gloomy. Sucks. Sawa-sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! What is her problem? <laughs> Hypocrites. Koda, you don't need to hang you out with the likes of her. Celebrating what happened to Mikoshiba-sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah. Fuck off, you little twerp! What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa-sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Mikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective, my ass. Just get out of my face!
So, about Akane, she was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now, she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction, at least. I'm sorry, Koda. For everything we did to you. You can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. <sighs> Thanks. Aw, he really turned it around. <sighs> this game is really getting to me right now. That was really sweet. And that other girl, um, even though she's a real bitch and she's really annoying, she is going through a lot of pain herself. But I still don't like her. <laughs> it's gonna take her a lot to redeem herself in my eyes. But we'll see. Okay, leave school. Oh, man, this game. <sighs> Let's go. We should have just done side stuff the whole stream. That would have been much more fun. You can see the MRC. Not right now, not right now. We should head back to Yokohama 99 so we can ha hammer out our strategy. No, I definitely do not feel like doing side stuff right now. 